What's up everybody? So I've been on a road trip for the last month and I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of like pack and see what I would need, what I wouldn't need for a month because I am leaving for New Zealand for hopefully quite a while. Um, and I knew going into this road trip I was very anxious about all these new people I was meeting didn't know what personalities I was going to run into and since I had my car it was the perfect opportunity to overpack because when you're road tripping your car is your suitcase so as I ran across things that I wasn't using I just threw it in the back of my floorboard didn't need it I'm going to go over what is left in my suitcase what I didn't use pull that out and just use everything that I have left as a guide of what to pack for while I'm away because a very big thing to keep in mind is I'm not packing as a tourist. I'm packing as a local. I want to live in the places that I'm visiting. And a really good tip to living like a local is don't pack your entire wardrobe. Go buy some pieces while you're out there. Dress like everybody else. Granted, this is a lot of stuff. Like I said, we were overpacking with a purpose. But you don't need all of this. This just takes up a lot of room in your luggage. I'd have to say the most useful items that I brought with me would be my bug spray. Sunscreen, because when I burn, I turn into a lobster. Eyeliner, wait, no, mascara. It's called mascara. Um, makeup remover for said mascara. Then you need your face wash, hairbrush, chapstick, deodorants essential, shampoo and conditioner, face lotion, then of course you need toothbrush, toothpaste. And since I have long hair, I'd have to say my detangler is also vitally essential to my well-being, even though your necessities may look a lot different from mine. Alright, let's talk about gear. We have our laptop cooler for our laptop, our knockoff girl pro, which we haven't yet got to use, a survival whistle that does come in handy and not crazy, memory cards, and for the states, you need a power strip in these hotels, I swear it'll save you, and this is my medical tin filled with all my band-aids, basitracin, and medicine. I don't need anything else. I always keep a spare charger with me, this will also charge my cell phone through USB, I have a water filtration system which I haven't gotten to use but I'm really excited when I'm in the deep woods to actually give this baby a try. Since you're all a bunch of filthy animals, I need a lot of lens cleaner to keep you clean. Just the way it is. Some gum so when I'm talking to you I don't scare you away, and a hair tie because I've got long hair. But let's face it, I'm going to need more than one. Based on how conservative places can be, pants will be your best friend. And if it's hot, you want to get a pair of khaki shorts that you can just throw together with everything. A pair of cloth shorts that, you know, on hot days you can run around in and sleep in. Based on climate region and cultural values, you're going to need to throw in some long sleeve shirts just to be safe. If it's cold, throw on a knit. Dress for cold weather if you need to. And if it's hot, don't be afraid to wear layers that you can take off, thinner clothes that are still thick and not transparent because you don't want to offend anybody while you're abroad. It just protect yourself. I wouldn't waste your time on fancy socks. Nope. Use something practical that can get dirty, throw in a bikini so you can swim around, and a lot of underwear. I'm not showing you my underwear perverts. Now finally, let's talk about travel bags. I have two options. One I'm not really using anymore and one I'll be using for my overseas travel and I'll share with you why. I have a rolling suitcase. You just press the button. And it seemed really convenient at first, but I did run into some stumbling blocks. Like, it gets caught on everything. It, I can't squish it down and compact it into other areas. And not to mention, it's really noisy and heavy after a while when you lug it upstairs and whatnot. Now, that bag is empty, and it made a lot of noise while I was just trying to go up the stairs. Now when it's heavy it 
causes a lot more damage to the luggage and the inside has started to rip just from the weight and the impact over and over again. Now I got my backpack, which I'm very much in love with. All I have to do is tape the straps so they're not hanging down or anything. And I also have a special padded compartment for my laptop, which is very important when you're doing this kind of stuff. But with my backpack, noise isn't what the problem is. It's whether or not I can carry all this weight on my back. But as I showed you earlier, I'm not keeping a lot of things in this pack, so it shouldn't get too heavy. And what I most love about it is that it expands. It has so many compartments that I shouldn't be able to fill this up. Like if you're going to fill up your bag with stuff, just run by the post office and send all your trinkets home. That's it for this travel prep video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and share your travel hacks or, you know, life lessons from traveling and packing down below. I'd love to read all of your advice and anecdotes. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.